Greetings, welcome back to the 60 Minute Arena. This is where map makers in Minecraft square off to do battle. They create a custom map in only 60 minutes or less. They come here to challenge other map makers to see who is the strongest. This is an ongoing round one matchup. The uh, captains in the last episode just tagged out from three of the teams and one captain of the yellow team was already eliminated from the competition. Stepping in their place are Box of the blue team, Cloudwolf of the red, Cavolta of the green, and Cakes of the yellow. What is going to be the next battle? Oh, 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 look, what is this? Cloudwolf is going first. Cloudwolf is making the first move in this round. Cloudwolf is attacking Box, and we'll see what Cloudwolf's moves are. All right, here we go with Cloud Wolf's Infiltration Part 4, the finale of Infiltration, I guess, called Pitfall. Uh, okay, this is the uh, continuing story of Infiltration, and at the end of the last one, I was asked if I wanted to, uh, if I left or killed Jackson. Wait a minute. Recommended choice. But if you did leave or kill Jackson, pick the other one. Click if Jackson is with you. Click if Jackson is not with you. This choice may have some strange lines, but makes sense. For the most part, the chat goes quick also. So right off the bat, you are going down two different paths from the last map. I'm pretty sure I didn't kill him. But I'm not sure that I left either. But I'm going to go with this one. All right, one button disappears and one button appears. Now I can actually start the map. Here we go. Jackson, we're here. Take the stuff in the supply crate and let's go. I'll follow you, but I'm not that good at fighting. Chat not finished. I got to right click him to continue. I love that effect. Well, I should be able to fight my way through this one. If you need any technical help, I should be able to help. Okay, the longer we are here, the more time they have to assemble. Okay, let's get going. I'm sure they already know we're here. Chat finished. I'm not sure if I would say chat finished, not finished. I might say like, like right click to respond or or right click to continue or something like that maybe uh okay so i'm fighting and he's giving technical help we're in a party together i already see some of the bad guys out there uh minecraft desert eagle combat knife bullets jerky and a combat axe all right let me do something here. There we go. I gave myself a resource pack purely, purely, purely for cosmetic purposes. That doesn't count to or f against Mr. Cloudwolf's score. But I am going to run out of ammo quite quickly. They are not even detecting me. I think this last guy I can rush over. But I want to see... Ooh, pretty podsel terrain. Oh boy, I nailed him before he even got off a shot. Okay, there's the helicopter. Yep, this looks great. Okay, so to my knowledge, Silas' office is on floor three. You should be able to get an access key on floor two. Why does it say chat not finish there? Okay, let's go before he's able to make a move. I think this is unnecessary. I think you only need to put that on there if the chat continues. Okay, so I have to go down to two, which is here, get the key and then go back up to three. What's on one? It's slightly distracting to have to like read, look at that chat, not finish, chat, finish. <gasps> Whoa! 
Jump scare, evil guard. Oh, he was not making any sounds. That was interesting. Whoa, so I want to try this. Hit K. Oh, yeah, that, that, that worked. That worked, I guess. Hmm. So here I'm on level two. I'm supposed to get the key. Ha ha ha, you thought infiltrating my secret base would be that easy? Well, you were wrong. I paid a visit to your HQ and well, have a look. That's right. I caught your beloved Roger. Roger. Now he's in my toy box. Say goodbye to your best friend. You have 20 seconds. I know this looks bad, but don't freak out. I know how to defuse the box. Just give me some cover and I should be able to defuse it. Okay, let's defuse it quickly. It didn't kill him. I did it. Chat not finished. Well, I wasn't really giving him cover because they weren't coming after me or him. Let me just calm Roger down with some bones and we can get headed to the office. Oh, Roger, my boy. Oh, good. Oh, Roger, did you hear? I heard something. I got the access key. Oh, I got more bones. I was wondering about that, actually. All right. Ro Roger? Ro oh, there you are. Whew. What if I press... Okay, I've got the access key. Let's go back up to the third floor. Uh, uh, not Silas. Whatever your name is, I'm assuming you're with me. Oh, why did... Why did I get another access key just now? Was I given two of them? I know I have to flip the lever. Give me a second. <laughs> I don't understand why they're silent and also I don't really understand how it works. In terms of me throwing the axe because the first time it did good but I see you found the access key splendid now I can watch you die in front of my eyes yeah see I didn't right click on him to initiate the chat so having Roger what are you doing what are you doing with him guards see to it that they die they're not even looking at me What's wrong with these guys? Somebody's firing a lot. Whoa! Well, it's been fun. See you later. Are you sure you don't want to say chat finished? Ah, he got away again. Back to the drawing board. Where could he have gone? Wait. He said he visited HQ. Oh no, no, what has he done? All right, so that was the final part of the four part infiltration. Oh my gosh, Cloudwolf tried to sneak up on Box and knife him in the back, and then jumped back, shot at him with a Desert Eagle, and tried to finish him off by throwing an axe at him. Let's see how Box retaliates. All right, let's check out Box's entry, Smarty Cat, uh, using the keyword of Box. How come I can say Box, but whenever I try to say his name, I say Box. All right, let's begin. I'm invisible. Oh, should I be in F5 mode, maybe? And like this, I might miss some text. You are Smarty. You are a cat. Cats love to play in boxes. Ooh, a box. Oh, Smarty, how do I open it for you? The full 
Oh no, this box isn't like all the other ones, but you are the smarty cat you can get out. A jingly toy and a myster and a mysterious toy. Oh, this is a what? This is a puzzle escape map. Wow. Oh, I have three lives left. I've already died six times, it seems. Well, what is my jingly toy? Throw to start over. Throw for quantum fun. What? Oh! I see. I see what's happening. Oh, 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 come on. Go back to where you were. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Okay, so basically... Uh, I'm all out of snowballs. The fact that the cat keeps moving and then warping back is a little bit annoying. How do I get the cat back? How am I actually supposed to do this one if I only get one cat? Is it detecting an entity? No, it's looking for me specifically. Okay. So I only get... I only get three snowballs. Oh, those are my lives. Go back where you belong. Please go back where you belong. Now you go back where you belong. Go on. Warp back. Oh, it's not warping directly onto the plate. Okay, hold on. Let me try this again here. Directly down. Maybe this F5 thing is throwing me off. Let's see. Now that's interesting. The cat. Wait a minute. The cat gets warped to my position. Wait a minute. I think I've learned something here. The cat does what I do. So first he will open this door. I'm trying to back into it because I want to see it happen. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, you stupid iron door. And then it'll open this door. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, this is way more brilliant than I thought it was. Okay. Let's see if the cat will actually do all those things. I might not have gotten... Oh, he skips one. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, open the door now. Do the thing. Oh, he skipped another one that time. Now do the thing. Oh, 
okay, I got to start that one over again. Now I'm getting the hang of this map. Okay, so we'll we'll start it here, and then we'll run like that. Now if I did it right, ah, oh, he's so too fast. I couldn't get through the door again. I don't get to see him, but I want to see him do it because it's so cool. Okay, this time. I shouldn't have walked so fast. What am I doing? What am I doing? Why did I do that? Now I gotta time it just perfectly. Uh oh. I think I just stuck him in the glass. Oh my god, that's way too fast. Oh! Okay, I'm getting it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it this time. I'm gonna get it this time. One, two, three, one, two, three. So I get about seven seconds. I mean, not really seconds, but. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I walked fast again. I'm never going to be able to do that. <laughs> Look at how fast I walked. Ah! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, much better. Much better. Okay, slow and steady wins the race. So let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. I can do that. I can do that. I can do this. I'm just going to stay here. Well, I shouldn't have moved at all. Wait, the yet So what's he doing? Hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> Three. Ah. I can't get onto that one for some reason. Oh! Oh, I didn't wait long enough. French Mellows! Wow, I'm not supposed to be struggling this hard. Ah, missed it. This is a brilliant idea. This is so brilliant, actually. I'm quite impressed. Okay, now let's see. How much time do I have? Hmm, that one closes before the other one opens, but I think I should be okay. I don't know what this cat needs to do, but we're just going to stand here. So he'll never leave. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to jump on it and jump off really quick. My reflexes are not what they... Oh, my God. I'm so slow. Why am I so slow? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That one's tough. Okay. Oh man, I I can make this better. I can make this better. Cuz it's like 1 2 3 4 5. This one only needs to be open for a split second. Now 
let's see. That's not going to work because this one's going in before this one's out. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh god, that door doesn't open very long. Okay, that's all I needed. Okay, let's see how long do I have. Not very long at all. Okay, let's just sit here. See, I can't get two of those to open at the same time. That's... Okay, too fast, too fast. <laughs> this cat is actually annoying me now. <gasps> oh my god, I did it! I did, I did it. Right? I did it? But how... Oh, oh, I'm so dumb. Wait a minute. How am I going to get that cat up here? Are you kidding me? Oh, man, I got to redo it again. I think I'm only going to edit in the part where I actually make it. Oh, I think I might edit this so you'll only see me actually make it. So I think what I have to do then... is go up here first. Okay, let me see the pattern here. Bump, 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 bump. Oh. Ah, I should have paused. I should have paused. Okay. Now, I have to catch him right when he opens the door. Like that. And then stay here. Oh my god, look at this can quantum cat action. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get to the end. I'm gonna get to the end. Oh my god, I'm gonna get to the end box. I did. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh, the feeling of victory is majestic. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Now that is a 60 minute map. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. I, I, I thought, I thought Cloud Wolf was, was going to stab and, and shoot, shoot you in, in the ring. But, but you, you pulled out like this hyper kitty warping thing and you, you, you surrounded him and, and, and you jumped out of his way and, and the cats all swarmed and killed the wolf. You, you eliminated Cloud Wolf in one, one shot. Your, your, your strength was twice as much as his stamina. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Oh, what's happening behind me? Oh, what's happening behind me? Kavolt is attacking Cakes while Cakes is standing there with his mouth agape at the awesomeness of these two maps that we just saw. Certainly one competitor's out, but what is Kavolta doing to Cakes? All right, what does Kavolta have in store? Stand here and hit me to push me. Box. Hit, hit me? Okay. Okay, this is somewhat reminiscent of your last uh, map. Oh, now that's cool. 
Yeah. Oh, this is Quirk the Chilled Tomato. I know that there have been many, many of these maps, uh, maps, these type of puzzle games in my life. Uh, but the very first one I ever played was on the Game Boy, the original black and white Nintendo Game Boy called Quirk the Chilled Tomato. And I've never forgotten ye. Okay, what does this say here? Careful not to push me into a corner. I'll get stuck. <sighs> you can push me in lots of directions. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do this without getting him stuck at all. It's interesting that he's on he starts off on a um What is that thing called? A uh Command block. <laughs> what is that thing called? Jeez, Louise. Cat. Well, wait a minute. If I push him here. Okay, yep. I can go behind him there. This is cool. This is really cool. Uh, and this looks really good. This resource pack is super simple. I peeked. Now, I could probably get up there without getting it on the gold block. I'll do it anyway. This is a puzzle type map, exactly what I asked for. Okay. Just kidding. You can also pull me. Just crouch beside me and back up. No way. Crouch beside me and back up. Oh my god! Oh my god, that is that is actually even better. Oh, that's even better. Because I should be able to just back up much faster oh, this is cool this is way cool oh hey I'm not crouching why are you still following me I'm not crouching there's two gold ones here that's a little confusing but not a big deal which one do I put it on do I need to get two of them on or does it not actually matter hooray you're no longer stuck in this box unlike me Oh, that was awesome! Kavolta! Kavolta, that was really smart. Uh, and I, I want to see those mechanics in a full map. Absolutely, I want to. Oh my gosh, Cakes isn't paying attention. And Kavolta comes up and first pushes a box into him. And then pulls a box over his prone body. But wait! Oh my gosh, Cakes is getting up to strike back. All right, now we have Button Science by Cakes, who's going to be changing their name from Cakes to Cakesel. Okay, great. Uh, um, a puzzle map about buttons. Start. This button is safe. Important. Uh, I would put that down on my hotbar, not in my inventory. Cake. Oh, God, never mind. <laughs> okay. So a stone button is safe, and it seems like I think a wooden button is not going to be safe. Hmm. What happened? Hmm, one moment. All right. Let's see. Puppy background noise is averted. Hmm. Oh. What? Did I not see this? The yellow button lies. The purple button will kill. Okay. Cakes loves these kind of puzzles. Help box. Puzzle help. Okay. Uh, I think... I think I can do this without instructions. The visuals in this one is really nice for a 60 minute. Yellow button lies. The purple button will kill you. Blue button won't help you. Neither the yellow. The blue button is not dangerous. That means it's safe. The blue button won't help you. Uh, the green button lies. The purple button won't help you, nor the red. The green button and the yellow button will kill you. It 
So uh, he uses different verbiage to try and trick, trip you up. So what you have to do is first normalize uh, the data into lie and ki will kill you yes or no. And is lying. Okay, so... Okay, so I wrote down what they say and I realized something here. I have lies, that's pretty clear. Will kill you is pretty clear. Not dangerous means not kill, so that's normalized. Lies is fine. Now, here's the thing. Does help me mean that it won't kill me? Or does help me mean that it's not lying? It's the opposite of lying. I think it's the opposite of lying. Okay, I'm actually going to take that back because the only mention up here that I have of red is that it doesn't help me. So there's no way for me to rule out red or rule in red unless I assume red uh, that help means not kill. Ugh. But by my offline calculation, if I count that help equals not kill, kill then I'm then I'm left with some data but I can't rule out all the buttons and then if I so if I assume if I assume that red is lying and then I play out all the equations I get some buttons I'm not sure of and then if I assume that red is not lying and it's telling the truth and I play out the equations there's other buttons I can't rule out, so I'm actually I'm actually not sure what to press. Except that I press the red one over there. Okay, let's use that. So the red one didn't kill me. So that means that green is is lying. So purple is good. Hmm. Okay. So red is definitely lying. The purple button did not kill me. That means the yellow button tells the truth. That means the blue button's dangerous and the green button is telling Wait. Purple button will kill you. I pressed the purple button. So this is a lie. <clears throat> that means the yellow tells the truth. The blue button is not dangerous. And the green button tells the truth. Oh, well, obviously the blue button is dangerous. Wait. Okay, the blue button is dangerous. Therefore, the green button tells the truth. The purple button won't help you. That's true. Neither will red. That's also true. So purple and red don't help at all. Yellow. Oh, the blue button kills you. The blue button kills you. Yeah, so, so, okay, so that means red, purple, blue, I shouldn't touch. But it doesn't tell me anything about yellow and green. Okay, so this one is lying because it says the green and the yellow will both kill you. I don't think that's true. Neither the yellow. So the yellow doesn't help me. Okay, so it's green. Goodness sakes. Oh, green. it was green. Oh, what is this? What is this? Okay, now he's saying that the andesite is, supposed, is a bug because it's stone, not wood. 
This one doesn't have a button. I don't I don't even have a clue as to what to do here. Okay. The wooden one kills you. The stone one does not, but does it do anything? Uh, okay, hang on. First of all, I want to double check this one. Red button lies. The green button is true. The yellow button tells the opposite. So which one talks about green? Huh, none of them specifically mention green. Oh, here we go. So blue lies. Which makes purple true. Ah, I don't even know if... Okay, my brain hurts. Oh. I guess I just figured... You won! Thanks for playing. The cake is a lie. <laughs> I think I still won. I... Ah, oh, man. Cakes. I love your puzzles so much, but like... I can never get them. I'm just no good. Oh well, that was really good for 60 minutes, I think visually was superb. Okay, so while Cakes is initially sneak attacked by the boxes, he starts slapping buttons down on those boxes and pressing the buttons, and the buttons are trying to either kill Cavolta with magic death or blow up TNT. These two guys are locked in an equally scoring puzzle, and they are grappling. So no change with them this round. They will both stay in. They will both lose one stamina. And with that, Incarceron jumps into the ring to do battle in the next episode.